free, uh, rise up. I want to tell you why I'm praying for you, Mama. I want to tell you why I pray for you because you have been crying Amen. to move Amen. from where you are staying. Yes, it's true, yeah? Daddy. It's true. You want to move. Yes. You say you are tired of the situation. It's true. Because I heard people were laughing then uh, against you. Yes. And also, you have a pain here. Yes. Huh? Yes. Touch where you have a pain. So you are free today. <clears throat> Jesus. My name is uh, Pastor Tuvakale. I'm from Chimistin. The apostle located me and he told me about um, me wanting to relocate from where I stay and I confirm it to be true because I don't want to stay there anymore. As the place is too small for my family and it's also not safe for us as pastors to stay there. There are a lot of drunkard and drug dealers around the place. I've been trusting in God um, for more than three years now, yes, and that today Apostle located the issue, I believe that it will come to pass very soon. I feel so blessed and I feel so happy and I thank God for, for us having spiritual parents like them, keeping on praying for us and giving us deliverance all the time. It is very much important for an individual to have a spiritual home and spiritual parents. I will encourage everybody that um, as a child of God, you cannot pray for yourself. You need someone who is more anointed than you for covering, for prayers and deliverance. Amen. Brother, I want to tell you why I'm praying for you. Come. Stand up. I have cancelled the issue of a divorce. Amen. At your age, you won't afford. Yes. You understand? Yes. Because sometimes you are on and off. Yes. Say, must I divorce? Must I kill her? Yeah, I kill her? it's yeah? true, man of yeah? God. It's yeah? true. So this thing of divorce, I've cancelled it here. I receive it. I can pray about it. Yeah? I've been praying about it that God to give me the direction because of the challenge that I'm facing. Because of the situation. Yes. God loves you. It's cancer. God said that you're free. Yeah. Pastor Tanisan Lov, I come from Johannesburg. Uh, the apostle spoke to me about the issue of divorce and said it is not good for me at my age to divorce uh, because of uh, marital challenges that I have. Yes, um, it's as if the apostle was with me. Today I left at about 3 a.m. in the house and I went to the church to pray about the issue. And uh, after praying, uh, something led me, the Spirit of God led me to come here. And I'm so happy that the uh, apostle located me and prayed and cancelled the issue so that I will have a peaceful home. As a pastor, you have to pray for other people who have got marital problems. Now I have to be delivered in order to deliver others. So I thank God for Apostle Makanandese and Mama that he has placed them in our life to guide us and to help us also in issues of this nature which are uh, seemingly above what we can do through deliverance by the authority that God has given them. Yes, I would encourage other pastors that if you have got a problem or a challenge with other couples, uh, don't just give up, go and pray and God will guide you to the place where you are going to get your deliverance and your help. So, I'm praying for you. Stand up, my brother. I saw you try to build a house. And, huh? You try to build. That's true. But the money is not enough. That's true, man. Huh? So, I want to pray for you. You're going to finish. Amen. You're going to finish. Expect the best finish. Amen. You're blessed. Did you hear what I was speaking today? Eh? Come here. Did you hear what I was speaking today? Amen. Eh? Amen, Daddy. Yeah, brother, take good care of this woman. I'll do. Eh? Yes, ma'am. And leave your people. Mm. Yes, Leave your people, because they are confusing you. Mm. You hear me? Yes, I hear you. Eh? I hear you. So you have a wife you don't know. Mm. This woman here, she's not happy with you. I'm not happy. It's not true. It's true, Papa. Huh? It's true, Papa. This woman is not happy. Why do you have a woman like this? I'm not happy. My brother, 
this can mislead you. You develop a spirit of your family. Remember in the spirit of a family, there are people who have children outside of marriage. Yes, I've left them. I know, even I don't even have, I think, two years without even talking to them. But the character you're showing now mm. to this woman is true, Papa. It's different now. That spirit is searching for you to destroy you. you understand? I'll pray for you. You hear me? Hey, you. I'll pray for you. From today, you love this woman. Everything mm. will work for you. Amen. Amen. You understand? Amen. Will work for you. Amen. Mm -hmm. Bless it. God loves you. You know, God has chosen you from your family. It's only you that God chose you. Amen. Eh? Amen. No one Amen. there. No one there. Yes. That's yes. why people they don't understand you. Yes. Uh, you are asking yourself, ah, does no one understand me here? Eh? That's true. You know That's very true. Eh? Yes. That's true. Yes. Yes. Others they think this woman, she's the one who's controlling you, and this woman knows nothing. That's very true. Huh? Uh, they don't understand you because God chose you. Mm. You understand? Amen. So your battle is not their battle. Amen. So this year, this year is a good year for you. Amen. Okay, you make it. Amen. You are blessed. <laughs> you are free, Sassy. You are free. You are free from this spirit of stagnation. Come on! Spirit of stagnation. Come out from this cage. Come out from this cage, you spirit. You spirit, you are coming out. Who knows this lady? How, who is she to you? Huh? A friend to my family. God loves this woman, but it has brought a spirit of hatred around her. This woman. Yes, yes, yes. She was, many yeah. people are hating her without a cause. Yeah, it's very true. Huh? Very, very true. And herself, she doesn't know what she has done. What are you doing? Yeah, yeah. A lot of people hate her so uh, much. Is, is it true what I'm saying? That's true, Prophet. That's true. The spirit of stagnation it has caged you. That's true. Even whatever you are doing, it doesn't work. Amen. Eh? That's true. Because I saw it entering a fasting of seven days. Eh? That's true. Eh? But still, the fasting could not do anything. Amen. Eh? That's true. You saw it that it could not do anything. Yes. But today, when I pray for you, I pray for you. God will release you. It's releasing you. Come out in the spirit of stagnation. Come out in the spirit of stagnation. Jesus. You are free? Uh, okay, my name is Lorraine. I come from Felens, Johnsburg. Okay, the apostle prophesies that um, there's a spirit of hatred and also stagnation. And I confirm that it is true. Uh, even yesterday at night, I just started wondering, you know, why people, even some people that I try to help, uh, they don't just seem to like me. Some, they turn against me. You know, I was just wondering, even last night, like, how, why, you know? So, even when he said it, I was just shocked because it was on my head since last night I was thinking about it because I haven't done anything to anybody, but people, they just don't like me. Uh, it has been going on for a very long time. Even the people that I call friends, you know, I thought maybe they're my friends. But I seem to, you know, realize that um, I'm not uh, whom I thought I am to them, you know. They don't just really 
like like me love me the way that i do so it has been just going on and on and on but last night i was like oh god i'm just tired of this if i can just be by myself i don't need people around me i don't need friends i need to cut off people because i'm not gaining anything i try to be good yet people you know they seem like to repay back you know with this hatred so it has been going on for a very long time yes and how do you feel that the man of God today located you and ministered upon your life? I'm so excited. I'm so happy because it's been on my mind, especially last night. That I'm so happy because I think just, you know, it's something that God uh, uh, has just decided to deal with and just set me free. So I'm just happy. Yes. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> Which church are you going? Ah, now I don't have any proper church. I just used to go. And Why? Listen. I wasn't okay in my spirit. Like, my spiritual life was not all right. Yes. Well, what makes your spiritual life, life not all right? I wasn't serious, like in prayer. Yeah? I wasn't serious, like in prayer. I need to go back to church. Yeah. Yeah. You understand? Yes. The things are mixed up. Yes. Nothing is working. Yeah. This problem is from home. So, if now you're. you're an idol from the family is holding you. How are you going to overcome an idol? You understand? Yes. So go back to church and follow God again. Amen. You'll make it. Okay, thank you. I want to come to you people here. It took me a long time to call people to come out like this. I will come to you. So you heard what I said, brother. Go back to church. God loves you. You change the situation. Amen. Amen. Okay. Because you cannot go like this without a support. Amen. Everything is tight. Amen. Where's your boy? Sorry, sir. My son. Yes, my son. Is this one? Yes. So you must listen to your father. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Uh, you must listen. Yes. You hear me? Yes. Yes, sir. If you want to be something, listen to your father. Yes. I you hear what I said? Yes. Yeah, because something, there's something in your mind. Did mm -hmm. you tell your father? No, I eh? didn't tell him. No. So you will draw this thing okay. that is coming to your mind. Eh? Okay. Yes, you'll make it. Okay, my name is Faraj Batamoto. I'm from Zim. But I'm staying in South Africa. Is my son Tanatsuch Batamoto? Okay, uh, we got a prophet uh, concerning my son because uh, I've been talking with him that I want him to start overseas. Uh, there's a program I want him to do, but uh, I think he had his own program. Uh, but because uh, what I'm trying to advise him is something which can give him life uh, in the whole world. So I'm happy that uh, the man of God has revealed what I wanted him to give us as a direction. Yes, so I'm very happy. The man of God said, uh, my, where is my son? I said, uh, my son is next to me. He said, um, your son must listen to you. Uh, and if he listens to you, you prosper. Uh, you make it in life. And how do you feel that today the man of God located you and ministered upon your life? I feel great, actually, because now I know who I must listen to and the things which I have to do for me to prosper. And... And yeah, now I know that I should listen to my father and I should listen to the ones which are older than me in order for me to grow. Yeah, that's all. Uh, what I can say is uh, as parents, uh, we hear for our kids. So in most cases, we must try and interact with our kids and give them the correct direction. Because uh, if we don't advise them, the youngsters at times, they don't know what's good for them in future or what will hold, uh, what will hold them uh, in future if they don't listen to us. Yes.